Between conception and delivery, a baby develops and grows inside the mother's womb during the gestational period. Gestational age is determined by counting backwards from the first day of the mother's most recent menstrual cycle to the present day because it is impossible to pinpoint exactly when conception takes place. Weeks are used to measure it. This signifies that a woman is not pregnant throughout weeks 1 and 2 of pregnancy. Your body is prepared to have a kid at this time. A typical pregnancy lasts between 37 and 42 weeks. Weeks 1 to 2. The first day of a woman's menstrual cycle marks the beginning of the first week of pregnancy. An egg is discharged from an ovary at the end of the second week. If you engage in unprotected sexual activity during this time, you are most likely to get pregnant. Week 3, after the man ejaculates, sperm enters the vagina during sexual activity. A single sperm and the mother's egg cell meet in the fallopian tube, and the strongest sperm will pass through the cervix, the opening of the womb, or uterus, and into the fallopian tubes. Conception happens when a single sperm enters an egg. The sperm and egg together is referred to as a zygote, and it includes all of the genetic material DNA, required to develop into a baby. The mother's egg and the father's sperm each contribute 50% of the DNA. The following several days are spent by the zygote moving down the fallopian tube. It divides during this stage to become a blastocyst, a ball of cells. An outer shell and an inner clump of cells make up a blastocyst. The embryo will be formed from the innermost clump of cells. What will grow into your baby is the embryo. The outer layer of cells will develop into membrane-like structures that support and safeguard the embryo. Week 4, the blastocyst buries itself in the uterine wall once it enters the uterus. The mother's uterine lining is thick with blood and prepared to support a baby at this stage of her menstrual cycle. The mother's blood serves as food for the blastocyst, which adheres firmly to the uterine wall. Week 5, the embryonic period, officially begins in week 5. All of the baby's major systems and structures grow during this time. The cells of the embryo grow and begin to perform particular roles. The development of kidney, nerve, and blood cells. As the embryo develops quickly, the baby's outward features start to take shape. The heart, spinal cord, and brain of your unborn child start to form. The digestive system of the infant begins to develop. The infant is most susceptible to harm from things that could result in birth abnormalities at this point in the first trimester. This includes certain medications, the usage of illicit substances, binge drinking, diseases like rubella, and other elements. Weeks 6 to 7, arm and leg buds begin to develop. Your baby's brain develops into five distinct regions. The development of eyes and ears. Bone tissue, including your baby's spine, is growing. The baby's heart is still developing and is currently beating with regularity. Using vaginal ultrasonography, this can be observed. The main blood vessels pump blood through them. Week 8, the infant's arms and legs have expanded. Small paddle-like hands and feet start to take shape. The brain of your infant is still developing. The lungs begin to develop. Week 9, hair follicles and nips form. Elbows expand and grow in size. The baby's toes are visible. The development of the baby's vital organs has started. Week 10, your baby's eyelids have grown and are starting to close. The outer ears start to form. The baby's facial characteristics start to stand out more. Rotation of the intestines. Your unborn child is no longer an embryo at the conclusion of the 10th week of pregnancy. The stage of development up until birth is now a fetus. 11th to 14th weeks. The eyelids of your unborn child close and do not open again until about the 28th week. The baby has a well-defined face. Long and slender limbs. The fingers and toes develop nails. Genitalia show up. The liver of the baby is producing red blood cells. The head is enormous, roughly half the size of the baby. Your child is now able to create a fist. The infant teeth's tooth buds start to erupt. Weeks 15 to 18, the baby's skin is nearly translucent at this point. A fine hair known as lanugo grows on a baby's head. Bones continue to harden and create new muscle tissue. The liver and pancreas start to secrete fluids, and the baby starts to move and stretch. Your infant is currently making sucking motions. 
19 to 21 weeks, your child can hear. The infant is becoming more animated and is still floating and moving. The mother can experience lower abdominal fluttering. When a mother feels her baby's initial movements, this is referred to as quickening. The infant can swallow at the conclusion of this period. Week 22, the baby's entire body is covered in lanugo hair. The digestive tract is where a baby's first bowel movement, meconium, is produced. Lashes and brows are visible. The infant has developed more muscles and is more active. The baby's movements are felt by the mother. A stethoscope can be used to detect the baby's heartbeat. Baby's fingernails extend all the way to the tip. Weeks 23 to 25, blood cell production in the bone marrow starts. The baby's lungs develop lower airways. Your baby starts to accumulate fat. Week 26, eyelashes and brows are fully developed. A baby's eyes are fully formed. When exposed to loud noises, your baby can startle. Fingerprints and footprints are developing. Although the baby's lungs begin to produce air sacs, they are still not prepared to function outside the womb. Weeks 27 to 30, the baby's brain develops quickly. The nervous system is sufficiently developed to regulate various bodily processes. The eyelids of your infant can open and close. The respiratory system still makes surfactant in its infancy. This chemical aids in the air sac's ability to expand. Weeks 31 to 34, your baby acquires a lot of fat and grows quickly. Although the baby breathes rhythmically, his or her lungs are still developing. Although fully developed, a baby's bones are still soft. The body of your infant starts to store phosphate, calcium, and iron. 35 to 37 weeks. The infant is roughly 5.5 pounds, 2.5 kilograms. Despite continuing to put on weight, your baby probably won't live very long. Fat deposits under the skin cause wrinkles to appear less prominently. The baby has distinct sleeping schedules. The blood vessels and heart of your infant are complete. Bones and muscles have finished growing. 38th to 40th week. Lanugo is gone, with the exception of the shoulders and upper arms. The nails on the fingers may stretch past the tips. The head hair has grown thicker and coarser. You are currently in your 40th week of pregnancy, 38 weeks have passed since conception, and your baby could arrive at any moment.